Peyton Reed, our director. Welcome to your premiere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, these things are always amazing. I'm always thrilled, like, the fans who show up yeah. in costume. Nothing better. They've so put great. together costumes for characters that they've only seen for three seconds in a trailer, and they yeah. did it this week, and they're yeah. brilliant. That's my favorite. Is like they're really the short. They've got like you know 20 frames of someone on us on a commercial, and they get the costume exactly right. Well, well we know that you paid so much attention to detail in putting this film together. Talk to us about some of your influences for the look of the quantum realm, which, from what we've seen so far, incredible. Well, yeah, we, uh, that was one of the joys of this movie for me is getting to create the entire quantum realm. So we looked at a lot of stuff, you know, electron microscope photography, um, heavy metal magazine from the 70s mm -hmm. and 80s. Uh, you know, always uh, there are a bunch of great artists who did science fiction paperbacks in the 60s and 70s. We looked at that stuff. Um, we sort of borrowed from all these different things, The Wizard of Oz, many different things. But yeah, that was a joy to work on. Yeah, it, it all looks beautiful and psychedelic, and I know we've only seen just a very, very small bit of it, so we're very excited to see the rest. But how has, how has this been sort of kicking off an entire phase? Like, you're not just creating a realm, right? But yeah. you are kicking off phase five of the MCU. No, it's fun because, you know, I don't know, eight or nine years ago when we started shooting the first Ant-Man, uh, what was fun about that was Ant-Man was kind of operating in the margins, a little away from the Avengers. And now, uh, with Quantumania, our third Ant-Man movie, we get to kick off phase five. And we get to introduce Kang the Conqueror, who, uh, played by Jonathan Majors, who is just fantastic. I mean, as a kid who read Marvel Comics, I always loved Kang. Yeah. So to get to be the director who introduces him to the MCU is a, a huge honor. Well, what was it about Jonathan Majors that made you go, yeah, he's, he's our Kang? Well, Jonathan just has it all. I mean, he is like the actor of his generation. He's really exciting. He had the physicality that Kang the Conqueror needs, um, but he also just has the presence. I mean, Jonathan is a force of nature. And we had many conversations about how Kang the Conqueror was going to move and speak, and he's a, he's a character who doesn't experience time in a straight line, not past, present, future. He, he lives in a loop, and he lives in all these different timelines, so uh, it was fascinating to help create that character with Jonathan. Well, we're very excited to see all of it come together. Is there anything you want to say to the fans before you dive into this premiere tonight? Yeah, listen, uh, thank you to all the MCU fans. Uh, you've been so supportive over the years. We've just made a third Ant-Man movie. We're going, to, we're going to take you all down into the quantum realm. Uh, and what I'd love to say is, see this movie on the biggest screen you can with the best sound. We want you to really uh, immerse yourself in the quantum realm. We're going to take you further down than you've ever been. Well, we cannot wait to go on this journey with you. Have a fantastic time tonight. And thank you so much for stopping to talk to the fans. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Congratulations. See ya. Thank you.